guys! So today I want to share with you this Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Gryffindor Hermione Wizard Collection action figure that I just got. And I got this from eBay because obviously you can't go out and buy Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stones uh, stuff in the stores because it's long gone. Um, but I really, really have wanted a Hermione action figure for quite a while, so I have finally decided to go ahead and get one. So I chose this one out of all the different Hermione figures they have, um, partly just because I like her in this one because she comes in like her kind of normal Gryffindor outfit, and she comes with a couple of book ac accessories, which... That's one reason why I relate so much to Hermione is because we're both kind of like nerdy book nerds kind of kids. And then it also comes with this uh, kind of cool medallion that has a book on it. Um, and that's like her medallion. Um, I guess all the characters had a medallion of their own for this series and it had something on it that represented that character. So they used a book for Hermione and it's called a casting stone in this series. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the back before I open it. Um, at the top, let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. At the top, it has stuff about Hermione and you know, the letter to Hogwarts and all that stuff. And then down at the bottom, it has the other characters in the series. Um, I guess these three maybe came together. The Mountain Troll, Hagrid, and Fluffy. They had Professor Snape, Invisibility, Cloak Harry, Slytherin, Malfoy, Gryffindor, Hermione, which I got, of course. Gryffindor, Ron, Gryffindor, Harry, Quidditch, Harry. And then they had a limited edition, Headmaster Dumbledore, Remember All, Malfoy, and Professor Quirrell. So pretty cool. And I am going to open this, which I know some people, they, they wince, you know, when I get toys like this and I open them because, you know, they think they should be left in the packaging or whatever. But this packaging isn't meant anyway, so it's got like folds and stuff on it. So I don't feel as bad opening this one. So let's go ahead and open it up. And I'm just so excited to actually get to, you know, feel the character and see what she's like. Okay, so I got the back off. And let's go ahead and take this stuff out. So it looks like these kind of just pop out. So first we have her little accessories, which are the little books. So let's see if, uh, it doesn't look like there's anything written on the books. They're just little books with like a little bookmark there. And then I'm probably going to have to unwind her, which uh, most toys aren't made with these little like unwinding things anymore. So this is almost kind of uh, retro in itself to have these little windy things that you got to pull off. I remember when almost all toys used to have these, especially like Barbies and stuff. I remember that was how they were in there instead of the little uh, ones that you can easily just cut now. And uh, here's her other accessory, which is obviously an open book. So I like, I do really do like the accessories she comes with in this series. I think it's pretty cool. Um, let's look at the figure itself. So you can see the likeness is pretty good. I mean, you know, action figures are never normally perfect, but it's not bad. Um, her hair is a little bit curly. You can kind of see the curls because if you remember in the first couple movies she had really curly hair and then after that it, it wasn't quite as frizzy and stuff. But uh, I, I think they did a pretty good job recreating the character and then she's got her little um, Gryffindor tie and Gryffindor sweater on and her little schoolgirl skirt. Um, just normal Mary Jane shoes and then this little wizard robe that I'm not sure if it actually closes I guess it I guess it, it just you can pull it together but it doesn't look like it actually closes and then she comes with her own wand which that's a big reason why I wanted to get the figure new in packaging because a lot of the loose ones don't come with the wand and I definitely wanted her wand and it's hard to buy the wands uh, just separately by themselves and that sucks a little bit. I think that might be a little bit of a crack there in the jacket, but oh, well, maybe not. It, it's made the same way on this side, so maybe that's a 
supposed to be like that, actually. Maybe it's supposed to be kind of cracked like that. But I, I really love the figure, and I'm happy that I finally got one. And then let's go ahead and... Oh, I didn't unwind her uh, casting stone, so let's go ahead and take that out. If I can get it to come out. There we go. So the little casting stone, like I said, it just has a book on it, which is kind of like the symbol for Hermione. And it has the number eight on the back, which I'm not sure if that's like, is she at number eight in the series? Or I'm, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but pretty cool. And then let's see what this thing is. It says magic medallion trick inside. So let's see what this actually is because I have no clue. Let's see. Okay, let's see how it works. Before you start the trick, secretly write the name Madam Hooch on the palm of your hand. Cover the name with the coin secret design fit. Okay, so I guess there's a coin in here that you can do like a magic trick with. And I'm, I'm not going to do the magic trick, so I'm just going to open it and see what the coin looks like. Because I definitely do want to keep the coin. Oh, okay, so it's a Professor McGonagall coin. So I'm guessing that they probably had different coins and they all had like different characters on them maybe. So that's pretty cool. I actually didn't know that that would be in there. And it says Hermione on the back. So maybe all the Hermione ones have Professor McGonagall on them. And, you know, maybe it depends on, like, what character you get who's on it. But that's pretty cool. I love that. So I, I really didn't know that was even in there. So that's definitely a cool addition to my Harry Potter collection. And uh, that's it, pretty much. You know, that's the figure and, like, all the accessories. You know, the little books and the coin and the casting stone. So, um, overall, I'm really happy with this set. Um, I, I would like to get others in the series, especially, um, like, Professor Snape, because I am a huge Professor Snape fan. He's my actual favorite character from the show, although Hermione is... Him and Hermione are really close together, because I love Hermione, but I also love Professor Snape, so they're, like, really close together for favorite character. But um, I'd love to have him, and eventually, you know, maybe like the Harry, obviously, because he's the main character. Um, the ones of Harry are actually so, still some of the cheapest, because they were obviously probably some of the most mass-produced, and there are the most of them still on the market. Um, the characters that are more popular but are secondary characters are obviously more expensive to get. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to say. And I'll see y'all later. So, bye-bye.